my girlfriend wanted to ditch me on our vacation to find herself after I paid for everything, so I said bed and left her ditched for the streets. So, my girlfriend, 27F, and I, 28M, have been together for two years, and we planned a two-week vacation to Italy. I paid for the flights, hotels, everything, because I make more than she does, and I wanted it to be a stress-free trip for both of us. Everything was great, that is, until the last day when she tells me she wants to stay longer to find herself and wants to think about our relationship without me. She didn't discuss this with me beforehand, and it completely blindsided me. I was hurt and told her that if she feels she needs time alone, then she should also be financially independent during this extension of her trip. I said I wouldn't be paying for her new return ticket whenever she decides to come back. She got upset, calling me unsupportive and selfish, and told our friends that I'm abandoning her in a foreign country. They have since left me numerous messages telling me I'm being a jerk and should at least pay for her new plane ticket home. I don't think I'm the jerk when she chose to extend her trip without any heads up, but is leaving her to fend for herself going too far? Update 1. Thank you to all the people who responded, especially the early ones who gave some outside verification of me probably not being the jerk. I don't feel comfortable saying I'm completely blameless here because you're only getting one side of the story, and I need to take responsibility for my part in this whole thing, such as it is. But I guess I never realized how good my girlfriend was at making me feel like unreasonable crap was normal and rational and that I was the crazy one. So, anyways, here's the update, we're both back in America now, and she's packing her stuff to go stay with her family for a bit until she can find a new place. Soon after I posted, it was time to go to the airport, and so I did, without her. I'm one of those people who arrives really early because I never think I'll get to the gate in time, because everything that could go wrong probably would go wrong, it never does, but especially with how I was feeling, my luck was going, I didn't want to push it. I was there for about an hour by myself, mulling things over and talking to my mom. I looked at a couple of responses to this post, but I didn't trust that I wouldn't lose it if I started responding, and I definitely didn't want to burst into tears while I was in the airport. As I was talking to my mom, my girlfriend showed up. I guess she thought I was bluffing but had a rude awakening when the hotel staff kicked her out of the room because I'd only paid through that day. Honestly, I took no small amount of satisfaction in this. She'd been so concerned about the plane ticket that she didn't even stop to think about where she was going to stay. As many of you guessed, she met someone while we were in Italy. She was quick to tell me that it was just a physical attraction and that they hadn't done anything, but she had his Instagram and was wanting to see if it'd go anywhere. I guess that's what I get for not feeling well and wanting to stay in one night while she went out to explore. Obviously, I told her things were over between us. Even though she tried to make it sound like nothing had happened, the fact remains that, one, I couldn't feel like I could trust her when she said that, and two, I don't really want to be with someone who feels like it's okay to still keep her options open when she's been in a monogamous relationship for the past two years. The flight home was awkward as hell, and she tried really hard to give another pitch for why we should stay together on the drive home from the airport. I think, as we got closer to home, reality started setting in, and she realized she'd just thrown a lot away. So yeah, I'm jet-lagged and physically and emotionally exhausted. I'm just kind of numb at this point.